Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and this is episode 26 of An Englishman Abroad, A Journeyman Story. It's new job time. The decision has been made. On the intro. Now, I mentioned at the end of the last episode that Leicester City was one of the jobs that were available. Leicester City is our destination. I know it's a not an Englishman abroad as such anymore, but it was too good an opportunity to turn down. It's a sideward step, but it is a step that could potentially go somewhere else next season. That was my thinking. If Betis have a bad season next year, which we could have done, not saying that Leicester will have a good season. So that is the decision. I've taken over from Brendan Rodgers, who was sacked after the Premier League season ended. Leicester City have paid £130,000 for my services, which is not a great deal, but it's enough. I'm going to take a look today at the players that could prove pivotal in our progression this season. Before we take a look at what's going to happen next season, we should probably go back and see what happened the season that's just gone. Leicester finished ninth, eight points off of Bournemouth, who finished in the Europa League places thanks to cup winners and the like. So they finished 14 points behind Tottenham, who pinched the last European place. So it's a bit of a gap to make up. Obviously, I have given up European football to come to Leicester City. So it's a gamble from my perspective. But I think with the squad that we have, it's a gap that we can make up, certainly to the top six we've got lots of money to spend we'll have a look at that in just a second and we start with a man that was in La Liga with me last season Celta Vigo was his club Max Gomez is his name he was sold to Leicester in January delighted to see this guy as one of the players that I have inherited from the squad a target man can play out on the wing as well definitely a good signing by Brendan Rodgers and I'm delighted to see him here as I've said. Delighted too that into our third season of Football Manager James Madison is still at Leicester City like this kid plays behind the striker will play a pivotal role in my team this season. Another player I'm delighted to still see is here is Ben Chilwell although he is wanted by the big three, Chelsea, Manchester City and Manchester United. We are going to try and do our level best to keep him out of their clutches. Potential to be a four and a half star player. Another player that was bought in by the previous regime is Dennis Mann. Can play on the right hand side of the three behind the striker. Romanian international scored 13 goals in 41 appearances so far for Leicester. Has the potential to be a five star player. And it's definitely one to keep our eye on. Taking a look at the squad as a whole, there are a lot of good players here. Obviously, Kasper Schmeichel is still here. Harry Maguire, all players that you will recognise. Ian Nacho, Jamie Vardy, Harvey Barnes, who was on loan at West Brom earlier in the current season in real life. So there is definitely stuff to work with. Obviously, Adrian Silva, who was on loan at Real Betis with me last season, will be back at the club. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain is only on loan from Liverpool. That might be something we turn into a permanent deal because he actually did pretty well. So yeah, definitely something to work with, hence the move. The finances were a big thing for me coming here. £54 million worth of transfer budget. Real Betis offered me £13.5 million. It wasn't going to be enough to do the repair job that needed to be done, frankly. So we can do an awful lot with £54 million to get Leicester into Europe, and that is the aim. We do have one player who is already joining us. Alvaro Medran is coming in from Valencia. Plays as a defensive midfielder, can play in centre midfield as well. I've had a look at him briefly, and it's certainly one that I'm interested about, and it's a good bit of business from Brendan Rodgers. So there we go. A quick insight into our new position at Leicester City Football Club, and I'm hoping... It's the right move. It is a gamble. Not going to lie. 
always a gamble when you change jobs after having a successful period. But I think this could be the challenge to take us to the next step to a much bigger side. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that's how it works out. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel but would like to do so, please click the subscribe button down in the corner. That was episode 26 of An Englishman Abroad, A Journeyman Story. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.